Americans on average are taking as many as four prescribed medications regularly. That's according to a survey by Consumer Reports. But what if treatment for some of the most common conditions like high blood pressure and high cholesterol was wrapped into one pill? Ursula Perry shows us this could now be the case for some patients. Cooking up a heart-healthy meal with some whole grains, omega-3s, and leafy greens is what 75-year-old Ann Gwynn does to keep her heart healthy. If you read my medical history, I sound like a train wreck. Between her high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and heart disease, Ann takes several medications. Some of the pills I take once a day, some I take twice a day, some pills I take two at one time and one at another time, so it gets a little confusing sometimes. Dr. Daniel Munoz is a cardiologist who led a study. It suggests a single pill containing doses of four medications to treat high blood pressure and high cholesterol, the leading risk factors for strokes and heart attacks, can simplify the lives of those taking medications. It's called a poly pill. If you can just remember to take that one pill a day, it gives somebody a, a, a real head start in trying to achieve a healthy life. A trial was conducted with 303 patients. Half of them took a poly pill, and the other half continued with their usual care. At the end of the trial, the group that took the poly pill was able to reduce their blood pressure and cholesterol more than the usual care group. We think those translate to about a 25% reduction in the risk of experiencing a stroke or a heart attack over the subsequent 10 years. Anne, who currently takes four medications just for her high blood pressure, thinks that's amazing news. But even if you could put some of them together, it would cut down how many I have to keep track of. Dr. Munoz says adherence, or the likelihood that someone's going to take their pills as directed, was actually pretty high for the polypill group. 86% were religious about it. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.